So next we're going to work on learning the party time song. And one of the things that's important, and I think you're doing this pretty well, but before you start to play the song, I would like you just to experiment a little bit with um, doing, playing back and forth from one finger to the other. So it looks like that. And you can do it on any of the black keys. Your pointers and your tall man fingers are the ones we really want to be able to do this with. However, in the party time song, I think it's all the same ones. I think it was... Um, lazy day where you did a little bit of that and I'm hoping that since I haven't heard you play that song yet I'm hoping that that's working but um, what I'd like you to do is push pause and just work a little bit on playing back and forth fingers like that using your pointer and your tall man then you can use your tall man and your ring finger just back and forth just work on these three for a little bit and then after you've done that with both hands they don't necessarily have to be together but after you've done that with both hands then push play again Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works for the party time song. Remember I told you that the study skill is that there we find the place that's got a hard spot and we work on that first. And what I'm going to try to do is move the camera so it's going to sit and hopefully you'll be able to see my hands. And these are going to be on, you'll notice on your um, little finger map down here. This is set up a little differently than some of the songs we've done because if you notice two of your fingers are on a set of two black keys. We're used to that. But then we're only playing two fingers and it's going to be in the three black keys right next to the two black keys. So make sure that you're setting up in the right place. Now the practice that we did just the back and forth fingers is going to help us because uh, that's part of the song. Hopefully this won't make you dizzy. We don't normally watch these all after because I can't in this camera. So, all right, so you're going to be setting up down here, and we'll review on the next video what we call this area, but this is in the bass area of the piano. So your left hand is going to play a do-day-do -do rhythm. A right hand is going to play do-day-do -do first. Left hand is going to echo it, and it sounds like this. can notice how that sounds a little bit like when you did Lazy Day, but then you went on and did that, right? In this case, though, we're going to just do that musical idea of this, do, day, do. Left hand is going to play using the same two fingers, starting with your pointer. Then you're going to do how you started, but now this is the part where it's different. Normally, if, if the right hand did this, your left hand would just go like this. But because we want to end the song, we want to get to our um, starting, our home tone. And so that's going to be this note right here. So what's going to happen, and this is why I think this makes it a little harder, is you're going to do the little... But then you're going to jump up and play a right hand note. And so what I'd like you to do is try to do that... Again, you're going to maybe need to pause um, the camera or the video for just a little bit and just practice going pointer, tall man, and then ending on your right hand pointer like that. Okay, so practice that and then turn the camera back on or the video. All right, now after you've isolated that, you've practiced that hard part. We're going to try to do this one more time. Remember your setup, it looks a little different for just using your, your two fingers like that. But I want you to practice trying to go. Yours should sound like mine. That was the first half of this song. The second half, remember, it's not going to end the same way. And then back to your right hand. And hopefully you're able to see that with my hands. Um, with my fingers. If you end up having a hard time seeing that and figuring it out, you're a very good piano player. So I have a feeling that you're going to be able to figure out by setting your fingers up in the starting position and listening to my instructions, I think you're going to be able to get it. And also you'll work with your CD and 
I think that will help you too. So, but if you have questions, um, mom can either text me or um, Facebook message me and I could try to answer your questions for you because I'd rather you not practice it wrong. If you think that what you're doing isn't matching with what you heard me do, then ask me a question or two and then we'll see if we can get it figured out, okay?